All right, so today I'm gonna go out and uh, do some dip netting. We got tiger salamanders uh, earlier this year, so I'm gonna go out to some ponds and do some dip netting and see if I get the larvae. So let's get at it. All right, uh, I've got a ornate chorus frog tadpole here, which is really cool to find. These guys are declining in Florida. You can tell by the, the high tail fin. Cool find here, depending. And there it is, tiger salamander larvae. Wow, I've been trying to get one of these for a long time. The tigers moved this year. So yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, that is a smaller tiger salamander with some ornate horse frog tadpoles there. Little guy. Nice. Here's another good sized tiger. Oh, wow. It's my first time ever getting a tiger salamander larvae. I've always found the the adults, I've gotten mole salamander larvae and marbled salamander larvae, and maybe a couple of the others, the smaller salamanders. But this is this is a lifer for me as a larvae. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> so here's the uh, the larvae in a little container before I release them. You can tell the the tiger salamander larvae larvae a lot bigger. And the tadpoles for the uh, ornate coarse frogs are small tadpoles, smaller tadpoles. But I've been wanting to actually find both of these. I found coarse frogs once. I've heard them, just didn't find them. And uh, here's the tadpoles. Whew, I'm tired. Uh, let's get moving on. Well, that was successful dip netting today, and uh, it was kind of a lifer. I've never found larvae, tiger salamanders. I uh, found the adults, so I'm real, real pleased with that. It, it just, it's so important to protect ponds like that. Any kind of uh, chemicals or damage to that pond would just totally destroy population. So, you know, protect the habitat. I keep saying it. It's uh, all you can do. All right, first snake today, this really nice corn snake, red rat snake, beautiful. Ah, it's a beautiful day today. It's probably like 50, 56 degrees or so. Shit needs to burn. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. Let me get my hands on there. It's in shed, huh? I don't know if yeah, your eyes are perfectly melted. There's a peninsula newt. I just didn't net it. These are central Florida to south Florida. Got our first snake, a little racer. Get across the road. There's Glenn. <laughs> and off he goes. So the road temp was 77. 77? Yep.
<laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> ah, coral snake. Yeah. All right. Look there at it is. Coral snake. Very cool. You're doing a herky jerky. Sweet. <laughs> I found one in. Uh, this wasn't on the list, Glenn. Yeah. You ready to let it go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, buddy. Get up the get up the road there. Kind of hard for him. Looks like he's going in the shed. There he goes. Pygmy rattlesnake. I can see the trail at the left. Wow, look at that, dude. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Okay. Wow, blue stripe garter. This is. And this is how you know they're full blue stripe by the top of the back there. That dark, darkest stripe. Not, and plus the area I'm in. That's a beauty. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. No, there he's biting. <laughs> you big scary? All right, you take off. Oh. Well, Scarlet Snake. That's a cool one. I haven't seen one of these in a while. That's a nice one. You can see it looks real dirty. It just came out of the ground. Yeah. You almost done? Sorry, I gotta get this dirt off my lens. Yeah. And that's a wolf spider. Yeah. And probably a hogna species. I don't know. It's Carolinensis or what, but it's a wolf. It's a dark cotton. Yeah. You done? Yeah. Keep going. It's the size of it. Go, go. So cool when you're walking out in nature and you come up to something like a nest like this, you know, where an animal has lived and raised its young, put back into this sand hill area. It's just so cool. I love seeing stuff like this. Not sure what kind of nest it is. Cardinal, DJ, birds, something like that, maybe. There's a male fence lizard, Scalopterus. It was on a tree, I just came up and picked him up. I know it's a male because of the blue coloration there. A young male. Just put him back on a tree. <laughs> I'm looking for tortoise burrows today. I think I found here, especially by these prints, the size of that hole, that's a coyote. I'm gonna hang out and see what happens here. All right, I'm hiking around and look what I find. Wow, how cool is that? 
it is a looks like a simus and it is nice 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 i'm gonna get where he's at it's probably down this burrow so i reached my hand in there and grabbed and it was just, it was a pygmy rattlesnake it wasn't a simus <laughs> Wow, I could have got bit. That was not too smart at all. Whoa. Oh, well, oh, sorry about that, dude. Thanks for not biting me. <laughs> that was a, a lesson, a very big lesson I just learned there. Don't just grab anything. You see, I didn't check that skin very good. I didn't think a pygmy would be here. Wow, I got lucky. <sighs> okay, I think I'll move on. Well, that was a close call for me and that was a very uneducated uh, thing to do, especially uh, for everything I know. I didn't look at that shedded skin very well because I had horse flies all over my face and, and neck. So it, I just assumed it was a simus shed, southern hog nose. And I said, okay, it's down in this hole. I reached my hand in there and I felt what felt like a simus and pulled it out and it was a pygmy rattlesnake. I'm glad I'm laughing. Uh, the last thing I wanna do is get bit by a, a venomous snake and uh, have people say, oh, that's what you get for uh, messing with snakes. So thankfully I didn't get bit, but that's a lesson for everyone. Um, be more careful and uh, don't do what I just did. <laughs> Everything looks so different after the burn. Couldn't even walk or see in here. It's like a moonscape. So more than likely, any animals around here are down this burrow. And they're not coming out anytime soon, that's for sure. 